Dame i gospodo, poštovane kolege i kolege i slovci, pozdravajući vas ispred grupe autora. I would like to preach you on behalf of the group of authors with the president Ivan Stančić. Na osnovu svega do sad što ste čuli, Based of everything you have heard so far, since I'm a veterinarian and I deal with the reproduction, I would like to make a correlation of hunting mass with reproductive potential of female hair. What could we say through certain introduction? Female hair is in approximately 7 to 10 liters per week in the period from January till October. And we perform control through the last 40 years. Professor Ivanović has already mentioned that and also the age category through the standard procedure by measuring eye lenses. The open quota is given for the next season and also absolute banning of hunting for the next season. Some of the authors use the placental scars during earlier years, which could be more accurate procedure than by measuring the eye lenses. Hunters can sometimes make jokes and send eye lenses of very young hair. Counting in our case, uh, empirical or subjective uh, manner, only uh, from the last liter in a year, if we could uh, include uh, <coughs> some other factors, we could include the whole letters. Uh, counting the number of scars from the anestros could represent good fertility, both in the number of litters and in the Number of total number of young leopards. A colleague from Slovakia said that certain hunting grounds are very different in feet for hair. So in some hunting areas, they hunted hairs with bigger body mass. So we wanted to make a correlation of hunting mass with reproductive potential of female hair in hunting grounds. Uh, what was our hypothesis? First of all, the aim of the paper is to calculate the total number of litters in the hunting grounds in the period of January to the end of the paper is to represent the interaction between body mass index and the reproductive potential based upon counted placental scores, which could be read after the last birth. The basic hypothesis for this research was assumption that greater body mass certainly influences more favorable orphometry of reproductive organs, such as the uterus with broad horns and of the both ovaries as well. As for the materials and methods, the map shows all the hunting localities, a total of 70 samples was included from the areas noted on this map, which means the whole area of Vojvodina was included. On the other hand, uh, the um, hair were measured by turn scale, accuracy up to one kilogram, and the samples we separated by sex and uh, male, male and female, um, and, the, and then frozen, and the frozen samples uh, uh, were then examined at the faculty of agriculture, the parameters which uh, were 
Ocenili na mestu, ali ste bili su znači dubinu, odnosno intenzitet kratera na mestu implantacije, boja kratera na mestu implantacije i osnovče ivica, Uh, the number of craters on the implantation site and clear cut edges while atypical scars were not taken into e consideration. After examining the number of placental scars, we formed groups according to harvesting mass and we performed statistical analysis. Malo sad ova slika se baš i ne vidi najbolje, mnogo se nas vidi na monitoru. Znači ovo predstavlja jednu pregledanu matricu sa posljednjeg kočinje, vidite znači to ne tragove po njoj, a nekako uveličeno ovo bi moglo biti to jedno, mislim za vas da objasnim, biti to jedno placentalno mesto, placentalno žilje, koji se vodio kao jedan u brojanju. Uh, which was counted as uh, one during the counting. This is the uterus, aktivna, znači which was not active. And uh, according to the laboratory analysis, we could obtain data for certain uh, uh, earlier litters during the same year. Uh, this was a negative example of a uterus. As for the results, we obtained during this research period uh, we divided the harvested mass into uh, bigger harvested mass groups of four and a half kilograms, which had significantly better reproductive potential according to the statistical method. And uh, we also counted the number of uh, uterus scars. The red means that in the group uh, of four to four and a half kilograms uh, had the largest number of scars. This also is represented by this graph. And based on this everything said, we could say that the authors concluded that the results obtained clearly that the body mass index influences the fertility rate of female hairs. It opens the road for the um, checking of the results. The bigger mass index is in correlation with greater number of placental scores, which in nature represents a bigger litter. This method provides information with relative accuracy about the number of fetuses carried out during lung gestation before harvesting. This research work opens new ways to new methods of counting of placental scores with the aim to obtain more precise evaluation of uterus scars and of reproductive potential of female hairs. More adequate answers about the population of hair in hunting grounds could also be obtained. This would certainly influence more appropriate determination of quarters for hunting.